Hi guys, it's Max here with DartsReviews.tv in association with DartsPlanet.tv. We've got some data darts for you today. We have the Dead Eyes. Hopefully we'll be able to focus in and uh, hit a bullseye or two if we have a practice. But uh, yeah, looking at the dart, the grip's quite nice. Um, but uh, I think we'll have a closer look over at the table. Okay, so we've got the Dead Eye data darts here. And these are 95% tungsten. You've got a nice window there showing the darts inside. Dead eye written up the side and like a image behind there of like a bullseye. Data dart logo showing them match weighted to 0 0.1 grams. Over on the back, we've got a bit of a write up there for, uh, to do with the dart and the manufacturing. Obviously, dead eye written up the top. Bit of info there. And we'll get the darts out, have a look. And here we go comes in this like cardboard insert it feels fairly flimsy it has like a pull out clear window it does what it needs to it holds the darts in place in the packaging obviously we've got the standard flights there in the blue we'll have a closer look at one of the darts itself here we go right starting at the front we've got the standard sort of like black point it's about 26 mils Obviously, we've got a medium-sized taper conical nose at the front before we go into this first ring section. It's got this lovely blue coating there in the grooves. The grooves themselves alternate. Um, I would say it's a twin ring sort of grip, but the spacings almost make it look like the rings themselves are pretty much evenly spaced all the way down. Other than the grooves in between each is slightly, ever so slightly different between each of the twin rings. Um, it's got a decent amount of space in there. You get a nice bit of feel and grip. It's a nice flat feel. It's going all the way down. Um, obviously the midsection at the very center, we've got the data dart etched into this plane section, which has got like a black ring either side. Then we go into this fairly different sort of like, it's almost like it's got cut into three sections, four sections. Um, and each of the wide rings has got this extra sort of like milled groove cut out, but it doesn't go all the way round because we've got the lateral groove cut in between. And they're infilled with like a black coating and definitely feels more grippy than the front section. Um, it's almost a, a unique sort of feel because that I can catch on that lateral um, milled groove there um, but the wider rings um, if you're in the center of it does make it feel like a standard twin ring grip uh, obviously they're not they are a single sort of ring with that extra groove cut out with all the extra milling and that goes back into this taper at the back going into the standard data dart stem um, yeah it's a nice parallel dart it feels nice um, obviously, we've got the 24 gram here. The measurements on this one are 51 millimeters long by 6.2 millimeters wide. Um, yeah, feels really nice. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll head over to the board and we'll have a throw. Okay, we're over at the board. We've got data darts, dead eyes. Um, got the very long stems on this. I, I can see them wobbling through the air. I'm used to short, sort of short stems, but uh, the grips feel nice. And um, what I think we'll do, we'll have a couple of sprays just so I can get used to them, and then we'll go into a 201 practice routine. Definitely flying okay. A little bit wide with those two. I can definitely feel the wobble through the air because they're so long. Ooh. And a steady 60. I think they're all right. They are definitely wobbling through the air. Definitely be better with shorter stems. Um, but that's personal preference, obviously. Um, right, I think we'll go into our 201 practice routine and see how many darts we can do. Game on! Oh, just wide on that one. 81. 120 left to get. Let's see if we can get a nice Shanghai. There we 
we go, 120 and three dollars. Finish on a nice Shanghai. Six starts, I'm ecstatic with that. I think I could even have done a little bit better with shorter stems. They did wobble through the air. Grip feels really nice. I am a more of a rear gripper, so I've got that nice sort of like extra lateral groove and that little bit of millimeter each of the rings, which is nice. Decent amount of grip. Um, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll go and have a review on these. Okay, guys, we had a throw. I, I think I've done fantastic with this. Six starts. I've been more than happy doing that in a league game. Um, the grip felt really nice. Um, I was just in the right position on that. They flew nicely. I had a few issues at the very, very start when I had those practice throws. Um, it felt a little bit wobbly, I suppose. But uh, yeah, made the adjustment. Felt really nice. Nice, clean release. And the extra little groove that's milled out of those sections in between the lateral ones really does help. It gives you a little bit more control, I suppose. Um, grip rating, I'm going to give these a three. Um, slightly above mid. Um, like I said, the extra lateral groove and the little bit of extra milling in, that, in the little cutout section really made the difference to me. Um, gave me a consistent release in the end. Um, these are obviously 95% tungsten and come in at £59.95 which personally I think that's a great price for 95% tungsten you're paying that mainly for 90% tungsten nowadays so you're getting a bit of a bargain there which means you're getting them a little bit thinner so you're getting a decent sort of like grouping area and also they don't have to be as long so some people really don't like really long darts uh, personally I'm not a big fan of the long stems that they put in the boxes I would much prefer short or possibly going up to like the tweeny size uh, but uh, either way they're still relatively decent obviously we got the 24 gram and they come in with 22 24 and 26 gram so a broad spectrum there you've got a fairly heavyish sort of weight if you're more of a lob thrower and what have you um and then you've got the 22s if you're more sorry forward with it they fly straight and true decent balance i, I don't think you're going to go wrong if this is the sort of dart that suits you um obviously it would be great if you could try them first so you're not sort of like feeling like you're wasting your money if you don't get on with them um, but for 54.95 i think it's worth a go if you've been interested in these um what I would do is head over to uh, dartsreviews.tv or have a look down in the comments because hopefully somebody who has got a set of these will leave us a comment or answer a few questions, the same as me. If you want to ask a question, obviously head down into the comments section and I'll get back as soon as I can. I do try to reply to everyone as soon as I see it. Um, if you want to check out some reviews in the future, tick, no tick the notifications and subscribe. We have got loads coming up all the time. There's always releases coming from the manufacturers and there might be something that you've just got in your head thinking, oh, I really like those. And you might just need a little push or something to put you off buying them. You never know. Um, but uh, hopefully I see you coming back here again soon for future reviews. Bye.